Hi, it's another Smart Home Sunday. I thought I'd better tell you what I've been doing with lighting in the house. I know, it's quite a project. Or well, at least it feels like a massive project. It's taking a very long time. I'm trying to check out the options. I'm trying to find the easiest option there is. And I wanted to share with you today what I've discovered with Philips Hue. It's taken me a while to discover this one. Actually, it's been around for about four years. But somehow, if you've been following anything with Philips Hue in the last month or so, a lot of people very unhappy with the smart home app, the new layout, a lot of people not really liking that. But one thing that caught my attention is if you hit the little lightning bolt, create automation. Mm. And also this Hue Labs. Now this is actually a really quick and easy way to get into Hue Labs from that app. So it's just launching then kind of a integrated browser and but basically automatically logs you in. So that actually is quite good. Let's have a look at create automation though. This is really, really not that exciting at all. Uh, I'll show you something in Hue Labs in a moment. Wake up light, go to sleep, coming home, leaving home, and then custom. I love this. This is completely useless. Custom. When do you want this to start? Well, let's say it starts at sunrise, for argument's sake. Done. Now what? What am I going to do? Uh, choose your lights. Okay, let's go in the lounge. What should it do? Uh, it's going to... And that's it. Turn on a particular scene. Ah, I'm not that excited about it. So there we go. Now I have an automation, let's call it <laughs> useless. <laughs> now I have a useless automation that every day at sunrise, it'll just turn on the light to that particular scene. Yeah, not that exciting. What I do want to show you, I'm going to delete that one is in Hue Labs is where I was exploring and that's where I've set up time-based light. Let's jump to the browser, we can actually see the same thing. Now if you're familiar with this, well you might know it as feel better with light. Uh, over four years ago this formula was added to the lab, right? So the experimental section of of the Philips Hue system and, and basically they've given it a rename and this is what I've had running for most of the week it works pretty good there are some improvements needed I'll talk about them soon but uh, basically the idea is you get the right light for each moment of the day what does that sound like sounds like an automated lighting solution doesn't it well let's scroll down and cut to the chase here I have uh, set it to automatic. I have this formula applied to the lounge room. And look at this. This starts to look a lot like what I was drawing a picture of and what I'm trying to set up in a home assistant with automations. So I have my times, 5.30 to 10, 10 to 2, 2 to 8, 8 to 11, and then 11 through to 5.30 the next morning. And here I have the scenes. So if I want, I can change the time. If I scroll down a bit further, I can say, okay, start this at 6.30. There we go. And then that would continue through to uh, AM. There we are. So 6.30 through to 10. And now if I go back up here, you can see 6.30 to 10, which scene do I want to pick? Okay, Energize. And there it is, right? It, it works. We've been using it. And what happens is when you use one of the switches, the physical switches, you turn it on, uh, or it's one of the smart switches, turn it on, it sees that the lights are on, it says, hey, what time of day is it? Okay, now let me set that scene. And it works pretty well. There are a couple of little gotchas here. So down here, you can set the time to fade to the next scene. So this would be quite nice if, for example, you could say, when you get to 10 a.m. and you're switching from one scene to another, just do it, do it for an hour. You know, take an hour to slowly fade from one to another. That would be really good. But the problem is, with this set, 
just like this. This fade time applies always. So you really need two fade times. You need one for if the light is already on and it's triggered by time. And you need a second setting, which basically instantly sets the scene according to time of day when the lights are turned on. So that's where I definitely recommend you try this. Give it a go. It, it works pretty good. I haven't had any problems with it uh, so far. I've just found a few shortcomings. So time-based light, you can find it straight away in the app if you like. So if I just go on, go back to the app. So Hue Labs, then you will find it in the long list. So I have it already here, for example, time-based light. And there it is. So you can make all the adjustments via the app as well. But have a go at it. Try it out. But I do have to say there is the limitation that I just pointed out, and that is that you really want a turn the light on for the first time. You want an instant scene selection. And then this long fade from one scene to another, that would be very nice if the lights are already on and they need to switch to the next scene during the day. The other downside is you don't get to pick any more uh, blocks of time than this one, two, three, four, five. So you can set these times to whatever you want, but you don't get any more. So in a single day, you've only got one, two, three, four, five scenes that you can bounce around to. So I would like a few more. I at least would have liked one more in this test setup, but that wasn't possible. But I thought I'd just go with what I could here and try it out. So maybe I need to send some feedback and suggest a few things and tell them that I think it's okay, but you've got some room for improvement. Um, it at least appears that the latest version of the Philips Hue app uh, they're trying to get closer to people doing more things with Hue Labs and maybe doing something with automations. But I have to wait and see. Watch that space and I'll let you know if I notice anything there. But if you notice something, let me know because look at this. This has been around for four years and there's at least nearly 220,000 people have used this time-based light. Nobody's told me about it yet. Nobody told me. Okay, there's quite a few people in the world, but anyway. So, time-based light, Philips Hue. What do you think? Yes, no, yes, give it a try. Let me know if you do. Let me know how you get on. But I do think I will still continue building up exactly what I want with Home Assistant. So I'll have more of that on the way in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.